Hello everyone, welcome back to The Crossroads. This is our secret place where we're gonna meet each week to talk about the secrets of the blues. This week we're talking about attenuating a blues junior with an ox box. If you've not seen one of these before, they're a great piece of kit. I'm gonna go through some settings. Now, why would you want to attenuate a blues junior? You could use the preamp, couldn't you? You could turn the preamp up and the master down and play at fairly low volumes. You can definitely do that, but if you want to crank the master, these amps are getting pretty loud at home. And also, if you want to record, you've got to mic it up. You've got to put a mic on the cone. You've got to put a room mic up. And if you want to play late at night, it's a real hassle. So an attenuator, you can play quietly. You can add all sorts of different microphones virtually. You can change the cabinets virtually. Um, you can add reverb, delay, chorus. Uh, compression, all this kind of thing, all through the attenuator. Loads of presets too. So let's have a look. Now, so far, uh, I've got my Blues Junior here, and uh, the volume is on 11, and the master is on 11. That would be pretty loud in real life. What I'm going to do for this demo is I'm just going to leave the amp as it is, but I'm going to control everything using the volume knob and the pickups here. So this is the sound I've got at the moment. My volume is about four and I'm going to show you here the screen of the attenuator. All right, so this is the type of sound I've got. Okay, sounds pretty good. Now let's have a look at the screen of this uh, Oxbox. I've just got this connected to my uh, computer here. All right, now what we can see here is uh, a little amp in the room, mic'd up with a ribbon mic, a 121 uh, ribbon mic, a dynamic mic here, and also we've got some room mics too, and you can control all of these mics. You can also change them. See all the mics here, loads of mics that you can change. You can put on access or off access, you can pan them, you can um, solo them too, which is uh, really good. And the other thing is you've got these things that I mentioned before, you've got reverb, you've got delay here, and you've got uh, compression and you've got EQ, so lots of things to choose from. I'm wearing my headphones now so I can hear this by the way. All right, so what we're gonna do, first of all, let's switch off the reverb, just a sec, and let's go back to the blues junior reverb. Let's see how that sounds, all right? So. Sounds pretty good. Let's go over to the attenuator reverb, switch that off. So if you've got an amp which doesn't have reverb, this is great. Let's put the reverb on. Okay, this is a plate reverb. So that's gonna sound like this. So what's very cool about this, of course, is you can adjust the wet uh, signal. So let's do that, dry or wet. Let's put that up a little bit so you can hear. Let's make it really wet. Really nice, isn't it? That sounds, that sounds really good. Let's put that back to normal. In fact, let's switch off that reverb. All right. Now, what other things can we do this? There's so much you can do. One thing is, of course, you can muck about with the mics, what type of mic you want, obviously. And what I really like to do is muck about with the room mics. Now, here are the room mics. If I solo the room mics here, you're gonna just hear what it would be like in, in the room. This is all simulated, of course. Sounds pretty good. Now, what we can do is we could unsolo those. I could mute the room mic so we'd have this kind of sound. I'm turning my volume up a bit here. So we've just got the dynamic mic and the ribbon mic 121 but I can unsolo that room mic and we can have a little blend so 
So we can have a little blend of the mics. You could turn the room mics down uh, if you want to. So that's a really cool thing to do. Let's bring that up a little bit. Now, of course, one of the great things you can do with an attenuator, which you can't do it in real life when you're recording, is you can change the cabinet. So just at the moment, we've got this 1x12, kind of 50s twang sound here. But if I go into my cabinet settings, you can see all the different cabinets we've got here. And I can change it. So let's say I want one by 10 Here's what I've got at the moment. One by 10. One by 12. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try two by 12. Four. And as you go through, I could be here all day. You've got four by 12 cabinets. Sorry, I'm playing the same thing just so you can hear there. So loads of different cabinets and of course once you choose what cabinet you want it appears on screen you can change the mics again I could just put the the room mic on uh, if I wanted to I could have a blend of them and uh, you know I could just solo one mic if I wanted to solo that dynamic 57 I could do that So I could do that if I wanted to. I can also change uh, the wattage of the amp to 50 to 100. I've got it on 100 watt at the moment. So I'll leave that there. Let me just put the cabinet back to, uh, what should we have, 1 by 12. That'll do. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a look at some effects now. Uh, so we've done the plate reverb. We've also got a delay which you you can add which would sound like this Pretty impressive and also within each of these effects You've got lots of presets here. So you've got your favorites you can add um, You've got some modulations in here too. You can even add that kind of thing. Sounds good. And um, you've got all these factory delays here. 80s rack mount. There's lots of things that you can play around with on here. You've got a compressor, which is really nice as well. And also you've got your EQs, so you can EQ everything as you wish. So what I've done today is unplugged the speaker cable from the Blues Junior and I've plugged the aux into that and that is going into my computer which is the sound you're hearing so it's totally silent so you can have any kind of cab you want as you see there and it's perfectly silent no one can hear you which is really good on the other hand of course what you could do at the back of the aux there's a connection where you can go back into the speaker so you could have the blues junior on 11 the master on 11 and the preamp on 11 and then you can attenuate it down and then you are hearing the sound from the amp speaker you might need a little extension cable for that because the speaker cable on the blues tune is pretty short so there we go hope that was interesting for you do have a look at these attenuators there's loads of them out there but the ox box is a very uh, nice one thanks for coming on to the crossroads bring your friends along next week and I'll see you then